Nikki, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm basically going to tell you guys how I reversed my non-alcoholic non -alcoholic fatty liver. Now, I just want to give a few disclaimers. I'm, I'm not a medical professional. I'm just simply someone who was diagnosed with fatty liver and was told that I can make some lifestyle changes in order to reverse it or else it could get worse. So that's what I decided to do. I decided to make a few lifestyle changes. I'm not a medical professional and I would definitely make sure to consult your doctor um, when working towards reversing your fatty liver because of course they're going to give you the advice and tasks on what you should do based off of your case. Um, so this is just for me personally and you know, obviously through time, the way you feel and also your blood work and results will help show you what's working and what isn't. So I just wanted to make that be clear. I'm not a medical professional. I'm just someone who personally has had and has fatty liver. And this is what I've done to reverse it. So I'm going to get into some facts and then I'm going to, we're going to get into the video. So fatty liver disease is defined as an increased buildup of fat in the liver. Now, there is non-alcoholic fatty liver and alcoholic fatty liver. Alcoholic fatty liver is caused by alcohol. I deal with non-alcoholic -alco fatty liver. I cannot say the word alcoholic. Um, I deal with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So with that, basically, I was seeing a gastroenterologist and they gave me some tips. And the, I'm going to just get into what has helped me um, over the course of a few months to over a year that I've known about almost a year that I've known um, that I've had fatty liver. So first off, I would definitely have to say diet changes. Now, it was quite obvious that once I was, let's say, diagnosed with my fatty liver, that prior to that, um, I made a video about it, I had my gallbladder removed. Now, I definitely think, in my opinion, a big contribution as to why my gallbladder um, pooped out on me and as to why I had so much fat around my liver and I didn't even know it was because of my diet. Um, I didn't have the best diet. I didn't eat the best things. I, I consumed a lot of chips and a lot of junk food, a lot of fat foods that will cause fat to just build up around your liver and can make it sick. So what my first tip would do would be to eliminate all of those things and be very careful with what you consume. Now, I know that for me in my diet right now, I eat potatoes. I eat um, a lot of meat. So chicken, pork, such like that, and a lot of greens. Greens have on has honestly like saved my life. Like that is one of the main things that can help reverse your fatty liver is eating greens. Eating greens such as avocado, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and a lot of others that you can do research on. And this is I found this out not only through my gastroenterologist but through my own personal research. Um, so I'll link some articles that I used down below and found foods that were comfortable for me because not everybody's comfortable eating every single food that can help disperse fat from your liver. So, you know, you can find different foods that you're more comfortable with consuming because I understand that, you know, not everybody wants to just eat broccoli even though I'm a, I'm a broccoli girl. Um, so that I think is what mainly helped me. We started really focusing on having avocado and then I would have broccoli and or Brussels sprouts and it made a difference. Also, um, egg whites, I believe, is a food that helps disperse fat from your liver. Um, eggs are really good. They're a healthy food in general, but it helps with your liver as well. So that's what I consume, um, and I can tell you that's what helped me. Now, like I said, everybody's case is different, and if you feel some type of way after eating a food, then maybe try and eliminate it or eat it less and see, you know, how your body reacts to it. It's kind of like a trial and error, at least in my opinion and my process. It's kind of like a trial and error. You see what works for you and you see what doesn't. Um, another thing is exercise. So when you exercise, it's going to help disperse the fat from your liver. So but I wouldn't. If you're not, let's say, someone who exercises all the time, don't think you have to do strenuous exercises. A simple walk, you know, a simple doing a walk maybe every time you eat to help, you know, your stomach digest your food better and such. And don't lay down after you eat because that can cause weight gain, which is another um, factor to fatty liver is gaining weight, especially most likely rapidly, um, which I'll get into in a little bit. But 
for me also i would work on because i dealt with like i said in my video i deal with neuropathy so i always had to walk because with neuropathy <laughs> peripheral neuropathy in my case you use it or you lose it that's what my neurologist told me so i said i'm gonna use it so i would walk every hour on the hour and my gastroenterologist also told me that exercise and you know me walking and such is helping the fat be dispersed from my liver so i made sure every hour on the hour from 8 a.m to about 9 p.m every hour on the hour i was walking because i said i'm gonna reverse this i'm gonna fix this and now my liver enzymes are in the normal so yeah that's what i did i think a tip that i think is just good for everybody's health in general is really to reduce stress because stress can really bring up different levels in your body and not just coming to i'm not saying directly your liver enzymes but let's say like other things in your body and i think that with reducing stress and stuff it's going to help you and also motivate you to want to work out or want to eat certain things because i feel like for me when i was dealing with my stress i was like let me just grab these chips and stuff and that caused me to have you know my gallbladder be filled with sludge and now my liver have fat surrounding it so um, i would say definitely stress management as well because i think that overall for your body that's just great and i will continue to always advocate for mental health because it's super important you think your mental health just affects your mental when your mental affects your entire body so i think that that is another great um way in order to you know help even prevent fatty liver you know in my personal opinion also weight loss so with the exercise can come with weight loss now with me i um i explained my video i gained a whole bunch of weight i didn't know why and then i later found out that my gallbladder was filled with sludge had to be removed immediately with that weight gain i think is what also caused the fatty liver along with the bad dieting it, there was a lot of contributions in my case and so i would along with the walking will help you you know keep your weight steady you know what i mean so i think that focusing on your weight especially if you may be overweight or feel like you're overweight um that can definitely be a gr great factor in you know re reversing your fatty liver um walking weight loss if you like to run if you like to do exercises you know make sure that they're safe like i said i've i this has been research that i did i was like you know what i want to research you know how i can do this i don't want to god forbid have my fatty liver turn into liver disease because if you don't you know reverse your fatty liver and change your lifestyle and diet in order to accompany your fatty liver and to help try and reverse it it can become worse so definitely some lifestyle and diet changes i think were the main thing in my life that has really helped me reverse my fatty liver and i also want to reiterate i guess with the whole losing weight and kind of keeping your weight steady i eat three times a day i eat at breakfast lunch dinner if i snack it's probably on a banana it's nothing on anything crazy you really have to watch your ingredients um because you don't want it to cause your liver enzymes to spike of course um but i definitely recommend fruits greens 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 green vegetables like green vegetables should be like your best friend like truthfully because that is what in my opinion truthfully helped me um but also having a steady diet and way that i eat every day has really helped me keep my weight at a consistent weight and also my portions and my intake has also helped me keep my weight at a consistent weight which is helping re reverse my fatty liver as well but i think one of the biggest things that for me in my case that helped was were the greens and also me you know my my exercising that i had to do for my neuropathy it really helped me and pushed me to be more active and it helped you know disperse the fat from your liver so um i'm gonna link down below just some i'm gonna link some of the videos and articles that i read because literally i would go on such a spree of finding these things because i feel like sometimes when you find out you have fatty liver i feel i mean everybody's different i took it very serious because i was like listen you know in my case i don't have a gallbladder my liver is what's you know taking in my food and you know putting it through my body it doesn't go from my liver to my gallbladder anymore it goes through my liver so i have to be really careful with what i put in you know my body and you know especially for people who are in the same boat as me you know we have to be really careful with how, what we put in our body and what we're consuming because 
you don't want to make your liver sick. God forbid. You don't want to do that. And um, with me being so young, you know, I was scared for it to turn into something, you know, worse, which I don't want to scare anybody, but it's the reality of it. And I think me learning that reality helped me because it helped me realize how serious it is and how I should take it. Because although fatty liver can be something that's maybe happens over time, I'm 21 years old. I don't want it to become progressively worse as I get older because I obviously have different plans for my life as I get older, you know? So I just really found it important to do my research and to look at all these different articles. There are so many different things you can do. I also think nuts are another way. I don't personally eat any form of nuts, but um, I think that's another way. But like I said, I will link down articles that I've read and also Dr. Eric Berg here on YouTube. He's very popular. I've even seen like his ads on videos for like the whole COVID-19 like his advice and such um he has videos on how to reverse fatty liver in my case non-alcoholic non fatty liver disease and um those videos really helped me too and he also has videos where he breaks down um fatty liver so I think that's important to not only know how to reverse it but to first understand what fatty liver is what is going on in your body why is it like that and then ways to reverse it because this is something that is reversible just because you may have been diagnosed with it don't feel like it's something that can never be changed because it can it just takes you and your motivation and i'm here to tell you i know you could do it and um because I honestly, you know, I had a lot of negative thoughts about it. I'm like, well, damn, <laughs> now I don't have a gallbladder now my liver's messing up. Like, what next, you know? And to have my gastroenterologist call me and tell me, hey, like, you're doing very well. Things are getting so much better. Things are in the normal. It was a great thing to hear. And I wanted to share things that I've been doing because it's not like I did a crazy lifestyle change or anything. But I had to make a few adjustments in order to work with the life that, I live now and what I have in order to continue on and to be healthy and to continue to promote the healthy living in my life. So I just wanted to share that because I think it's important and not everybody pays attention to it. You know, when we're young, especially around my age and even younger, because who would have thought I never knew that I never knew what fatty liver was. I didn't know you can. I know it sounds dumb. I didn't know you could have liver problems. And then to find that out and then to educate myself more and to know that, like, this is something that a lot of people have that they don't even know. You know, I really hope that you guys take this into consideration and, you know, listen to my story and listen to, you know, certain ideas and things that I've done to help me personally. Now, like I said, everybody's story is different. Everybody has a journey, but I know you can do it. I'm here to motivate you. I know you can do it. Um, so, yeah. I hope this helped give you a little bit of insight um, because that's what I've been doing in my life and that's what helped me. I'm also keeping a very close eye on my weight because I don't want to gain too much weight. You know, we have, I have to keep my weight at a certain way so that, you know, things in my body are staying normal and not elevating anymore. We don't want that. So, um but yeah, I hope this video gave you guys some type of insight or some type of motivation. Um, with me, I ne I didn't know what, I don't know when my fatty liver started, but to give you a gist, I basically got diagnosed with it in October and I was in the hospital for it. I was stayed in there and my liver enzymes would go up one day, down another, you know, it was crazy. And in April, um, my, no, in like March, February, sometime around then, sometime earlier this year, um, my gastroenterologist had called me and told me that my liver enzymes were in the normal. So, you know, not everybody's process is going to be a quick fix. It can take you three months, it could take you three years, but you can do it. It's possible. Just you have to focus on that. Don't let anybody tell you different. You can do it. You have to focus on it, and I promise you will get there. I literally did my research. I put my mind to it. I would even stress myself out sometimes, but I was like, you know what? I want to fix this. I don't want to, you know, forever have this. And it's something that is reversible, and you want to catch it and deal with it when it is reversible. Um, and I urge you, you know, um, 
I think I've said this in my video where I talked about my gallbladder removal, you know, I had doctors telling me like, oh my god, you're just depressed, you're just anxious, whatever. And then come to find out I actually had gallbladder issues and then come to find out then I had, you know, fatty liver and such. If you're feeling a type of way and, you, you know, don't take no for an answer until it's literally no. If you have to go and see a gastroenterologist in order to make sure it's okay, your liver's okay, do so. I know everybody... You know, everybody's situation is different when it comes to financials and finding specialists and doctors. But if you can do it, I really do urge you to if you just are like, you know, I don't know if, um, you know, the way I'm eating is right. I don't know how it's affecting my body. Like, I really urge you to do so because it's important. And, you know, especially people my age, I am 21. I, like I said, I would have never thought that that would be me. Gallbladderless fatty liver I, I i would have never thought it would be me especially at such a young age you would always assume that these things come with age but no they can come at any age so um i really hope this video just gave you some insight and some motivation to do some research and to help yourself and could help anybody um be like i said this is just my personal experience my personal testimony and what has helped me and i'm super grateful um also another really major thing water intake all i drink is water water intake period drink your water um but that's good for you in general but i really hope that you guys got some insight and got some tips that maybe you didn't know or maybe you did and maybe you're like okay i really need to implement this because i'm here to tell you these tips that i just told you are no bs these are what ha have helped me and i'm super grateful to have found these tips out from my gastroenterologist my mother and myself and everybody around me so thank so thank you if you're a part of that but i really hope this video can help somebody i don't care if it's one person i really hope you know you find some type of motivation you know um i know sometimes it may be hard especially within being quarantined and you know with the coronavirus getting worse you know our mental can suffer from that mine does i know for a fact and it can be hard to want to move around but i promise you you taking that one walk if you have stairs i don't care if it's up and down the stairs just once i don't care if you walk around your house one or two times you know that walk can just help you a lot and i've definitely realized that over these past few months and it's been a changing few months for me and it still is a changing few months i'm in recovery and you know it takes time but you know i I'm super grateful for my journey i'm super grateful for my healing and my process and so yeah i hope this helps somebody out there um because i was the one on youtube like oh my god how do you reverse fatty liver disease oh my god like what to eat for fatty liver like i promise you like so like i said i will link some articles and some videos that really helped me down below so you can get some insight from some doctors medical professionals or people who have also had the same experience and your experience may be closer to theirs than mine so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like this video comment down below um and subscribe to my channel i will see you guys in the next one bye Take me to